Hi, I'm making the best roasted chicken you will ever have. So the trick is, the first thing I do is brine the chicken. So, come with me. Now I did two chickens, but this has already been brined, so come here and look. So in the water, I actually put two chickens in here, one I've already dried. But in the water, I put a gallon of water, one cup of kosher salt, and one cup of sugar. And then I let it sit in there with the lid on for an hour, for 30 minutes to an hour. I actually left it in here two hours. So what you want to do is um, rinse it, and then we're going to dry it off. And what the reason I brine it is because it holds the moisture. It retains 93% of the moisture when you brine it. Now I'm going to use a paper towel because you just use way too many, um, I mean, a cloth, uh, what is this called? <laughs> Dishcloth! <laughs> Instead of a paper towel because I use like a quadzillion of them to dry the chicken. So we just want to make sure all the water gets out because then our oil and our salt and pepper will stick to it. So, and it, it's really interesting because when you take the birds out, they're like heavy, you know, from brining. And they're so good. Okay, so I have my roasting pan. Now, this is the other trick I do is I roast them. Um, first, I'm going to do upside. And I'm going to turn them. Okay, so the first things we're going to do is we're going to season the inside of the bird because that's important because all the flavor from the bird will go out. So I'm going to use some salt. Wash my hands. And we're going to get all down in the cavity of the bird. Nice. Don't be afraid because you want it all. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, hold that. And we have the pepper. All I use is salt and pepper, and you'll see what else I'm going to do. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now I'm also going to put in something yummy. It's really fun. I'm going to take you know, this garlic right. and I'm going to stuff it into here and I'm going to take this one and stuff it into here take onion and stuff that in stuff that in I got little lemons from my tree so we're going to stuff those in there and actually, I have some limes. I'm going to stuff those in there. Okay. It's not going to hurt. Okay, now... We're going to oil up the chicken. So, our salt and pepper will stick. And I'm actually going to put it... And I'm going to turn it this way so they'll fit. <laughs> Rassling that bird around. Okay. Salt. I mean pepper. Le salt. La 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 la. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to, going to turn over the bird. And we'll do it the opposite direction. There. Pretty pretty. Oh, back up, back up. I need to seal the... See, I forget too. I need to bound their legs together. Okay. Okay, so the reason you tie the legs up because it makes for even cooking. And that's important because you don't want it dry. And then the wings, you're just going to take 
and just kind of flip them back like that. Yeah, now we're going to turn it over. Beautiful. And the opposite way. There. There. Okay, now I'm going to oil the back of it. Okay, some pepper, that's all we need. Salt. Can you tell I'm in a hurry? <laughs> I want to do the video as short as possible. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, which I forgot to show you that I'm going to do, is at the bottom of the pan, I'm going to put some onions because, so I did three onions, and then I'm going to cut up the rest of my lemon, and I just, I wish I had more, but these lemons baked are so good. They just have this wonderful flavor after they're baked. They have a tartness, but oh my gosh, they're so good. So I'm going to salt and pepper this, and then all the juices from the chicken are going to season this. I'm going to add a little water, and we can make a delicious gravy or save it and have it as a soup stock later. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it at 350 for 45 minutes, and then I'll show you what else. Okay, so we're going to take the chicken out. Wrong oven. Ooh, hot. Okay. Close the oven back up because we don't want all the heat to escape. And then I'm going to take these beautiful babies and flip them over. Actually, this is what I'm going to do because that won't fit. Hold on. I'm going to take my super groovy oven mitts that I can clean and sterilize, and I'm going to flip that bird. Okay, little birdie. flip a -roo. and flip a -roo. Oops. Accidentally got the little skin. Okay. Then, I'm going to take my two cups of water and put it in here because I want the juice left over. Okay, now I'm going to put it back in the oven and let it cook another 45 minutes. Brown, and we're just going to let them sit here for about 15 to 20 minutes to keep all the juice inside of them. Then I'm going to carve them. Also at the end, to brown the top, I baked them at 350 degrees and at the very end I turned it up to 450 the last 15 minutes. So 45 minutes on the back, 45 minutes on the, well, a half hour on the front, and then the last 15 minutes turn up to 450 to totally brown the top. And then over here is the onions and the um, lemon. And I can make a gravy out of this, but personally, I'm just actually going to put it in a bowl. Okay, so we had a yummy chicken dinner. So let me show you here. This is the chicken, so I like it all cut up. I cooked two chickens, but I cut it up, and now I have chicken for lunch tomorrow. I even have chicken for a fast dinner that I can heat up the next day. And then this is the broth. Remember, I added two cups of liquid underneath the chicken, and you can see the fat on top. Um, when I refrigerate it, all the fat is going to be, and I'll show you tomorrow morning, be hard so I can take it off. And then I will show you what we do with this yummy sauce. I don't always put the onions and the, um, the lemon in it, but also there's garlic. Remember I stuffed the garlic? Where is that? I got lot, not, lots of nice roasted garlic in here. Oh, here and here. So this is going to be you'll see what I'm going to do. And then I have my, I made extra salad. So this is for my lunch tomorrow. I will show you how to make simple, easy dressings like in a minute. And I have that for lunch tomorrow and dinner. So I will, our next lesson is I'll show you what to do with this stock. Okay. Till next time.